so the first question when uh, people don't know about uh, there are few things especially the indian doctors don't know about it the in like as soon as in india we finish our uh, mbbs or the medicine studies we automatically get a doctor title but in germany that's not the case to get a doctor title or the what here in germany uh, is called doctor med for the medical specialist and doctor med dent for the uh, dentist you have to do something called as promovian uh, uh, so you have to do one research activity and uh, you have to or sometimes you have to write a thesis or you have to publish papers so that you can promovian now the question is, is it compulsory it is not compulsory uh that is completely an optional thing if you don't want to do it you, you can choose to leave it but why uh, what brings us promotion as my, first is the as i said the doctor title you can't write yourself doctor or, though you can work as doctor but you cannot write yourself as doctor uh, and um, in earlier times it was a very um, sort of uh, 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 psychological compulsion for every medical and the dental students to get promoted and get a doctor title otherwise uh uh um, um, um that was uh, if you didn't had a doctor title that was seen very bad but in recent times a lot of uh indian doctors or foreign foreign doctors or even the german doctor they choose to leave this behind and because financially it doesn't bring you anything just to write yourself doctor in front of your name second thing the clinical career as doctors you think about okay why should i uh, promote vn will it help in my clinical career in any how the answer is yes and no if for example if you if you opt to work, uh, work in a praxis or your own clinic then you don't uh, need to have one uh, uh, doctor title but in case if you choose to work in a for example in a university hospital most of the university hospitals uh, do uh, require a doctor title so that you can further uh, work over there without a doctor title you cannot uh, get promotions in uh, 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 in university hospitals the third thing is the research career here which here it come, becomes very much important the people who are uh, interested in research for further research for anything further if you are not uh, promoted or you don't have this doctor title you cannot go ahead and do further research thing to do research that's the basic thing that you have to have a doctor title and the fourth thing the prestige yes um still there are a lot of people who feels uh, who feel in germany that a uh, doctor should have a doctor title unless if uh, the number of these kind of people is decreasing every day but yes there is uh, if, there are few people who still feel who are old school and still feels that the doctors should have a doctor title now coming down to types of doctor arbeit there are different kinds of um, uh, 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 doctor arbeit or so, so say methods to so that you can uh, promote vm for example for the first thing is the uh, experimental doctor arbeit that is you work in a lab you uh, work on animal models or you work on cells or you, that means you just work in a lab to write your thesis and you uh, get yourself promoted the advantages is the experimental arbeit uh, doctor arbeit is gets the highest amount of marks and yeah that that is also there the kind of uh, doctor arbeit you write your doctor arbeit is also scored you get points and no, uh, what is in your germany they call it as noten that is you if uh, that uh, every uh, subject has been ranked through uh, 1 to 6 or 0.7 to 6 one or the 0.7 considered as the best and the 6 uh failed the experimental doctor arbeits they generally get and if it is good written they, they generally get points from 0.7 to 2 uh, normally and 
um, that is one thing second thing the ex- if you have written an experimental doctor arbeit and you are interested in research this opens door for you for further research in a lab if you have uh, no res- uh, um, if you haven't written your doctor arbeit in an experimental um, if you haven't written an experimental doctor arbeit then you can in fu- you can't work in a lab in future uh, that's one Uh, thing so if in case you are if you are thinking about a research career as well then i will suggest you that you think about a experimental doctor arbeit the second is the clinician doctor arbeit that is that you participate in clinical trials the the clinical trials uh, is uh, they can be prospective they can be retrospective and so on uh the clinical uh, clinician doctor arbeit still gives you a lot of opportunities to for you to work in um research uh, but unfortunately uh, you cannot work in a lab after that what are the advantages the advantages are that can be written very fast for example if you are there for just for the doctor title then you can choose one retrospective doctor arbeit and you can collect the data as early as possible you analyze it and you uh, can uh, start writing it uh, again the disadvantages are it's not seen so good as an experimental doctor arbeit uh, and as i said that you cannot work in a lab uh, in future the third here is the statistical uh, doctor arbeit the statistician doctor arbeit is that is mainly done through the um, statistics for example if you write a meta analysis uh you collect a uh, few papers uh, in one subject and you analyze their uh, data together the advantage is it can be again it can be done again very fast the disadvantage is very poor um, uh, assist, uh, very uh, poor marks second thing is um, it it doesn't open your doors for future research if you are interested in research then i will suggest you that you go for either experimental doctor arbeit or the clinical doctor arbeit but uh, the statistical uh, doctor arbeit doesn't give you many opportunities after that to work in research the fourth one is the uh, theoretical doctor arbeit the theoretical doctor arbeit is is not done these days any how i haven't seen uh people discussing about it and people don't do it uh there was time when people used to do it theoretical doctor arbeit means that people used to write something about medical history or medical statistics or medical informatics and so on but nowadays um no one does it and it is considered very poor as well and it doesn't give you further any research opportunities the advantages and people used to think that this can be written very fast but no because Uh, to collect the to just read about the uh, things it took a lot of time and that's why it is one of the topics which is which is not loved very much the next question is should you do it it's basically a personal choice if if uh, uh, people do it just to have a doctor title it's completely okay people do it people who are research oriented they do it they have to do it they don't have any other option um and there are people who wants to do habilitation i'm just coming to that um yeah promotion is the first thing what you have to do so it's um it's again a personal choice if uh, how you want to do it if you are looking forward only for a clinical career and that to not in a university hospital then it is not at all uh, mandatory or necessary for you but if you are looking for a career in a university hospital or a research oriented career or a teaching career then you have to have it coming down to habilitation this comes after promotion uh um we are not going to uh, speak in detail about it uh, uh because habilitation is a one day topic uh just to uh, just to introduce you to this habilitation is something if you want to go in a teaching career further for example if you want to have a, a professor title and so on so the uh, habilitation different universities has their uh, different uh, habilitations ordnung that is different requirements and different things 
currently i am in university dusburg assam so i can tell you that after promotion you ha- need to have six publications and uh, teaching experience and uh, uh, some courses so that you can um, uh, habilitate after habilitation you can get a title of privat docent or in short they call it pd uh, which and then you are entitled to get a professor job once you get a professor job then you can write professor you can unlike india when you start working in a medical college you start directly get a title of assistant professor or an associate professor or a professor it's uh, not the similar it's not in a similar way here so you have to have uh, you need to have a doc uh, uh, first promo promotion and then the habilitation so that you can build up a teaching career and a research career so this is my last slide about this topic this is dr med or dr med dent because um, there are many dentists here as well so schmerz forget the title bestate you can uh, the pain goes but the title stays now our third topic 